exhibitions are all uh, very important as almost artworks of themselves. It's not, um, uh, it's not that each work doesn't also exist on its own, but uh, when I put an exhibition together, it's uh, always meant to be one statement. Um, and the works sometimes are shown in several different exhibitions, uh, but uh, each exhibition becomes a unique uh, sort of proposal. One of my main interests in my work has been the question of ornament and decoration. Um, I think most of us see ornament and decoration as the same thing, but uh, I like to think that ornament and decoration are quite different. I also think about architecture a lot, and I think that artworks are a form of ornament within architecture. All artworks are a type of ornament, and they change the architecture. When you put an artwork in a, in a space, it, um, it, it influences how we experience that space. In the work that's titled Composition in Lapis Lazuli Cobalt and uh, Ceramic uh, Bottle, like many of my sculptural works, the object on display is often uh, something that would be understood according to the Western European uh, American art history as decorative, as something that's maybe less important than a painting. Uh, but it's displayed in front of a painting, so the painting really becomes the backdrop and the painting becomes uh, more maybe decorative. Another thing that I'm interested in is how objects are, and artworks are displayed in a museum. The way that the museum design and architecture influences how we see these objects. In other words, the Encyclopedic Museum proposes a neutral environment for these objects and I think that a neutral environment is impossible. There's always some, something specific about the environment in which we're looking at these uh, artworks. Most of my paintings start with the grid and the grid really references the uh, size and shape of the canvas. So uh, the grids are almost always a vertical grid and, it, and according to um, the size of the canvas and the size of the border. The border of the painting is uh, also interesting for me because it is a way of composing the image, um, but also um, you know, com almost composing the image within the image. Uh, it, I, I, for many years, thought about Persian carpets and the way that they are composed. And the uh, Persian carpet, of course, always has the border. And when we look at the history of carpets, these uh, borders are not meaningless. They have a meaning. It's a, the, the spiritual journey to the center of the carpet, especially with the medallion carpet, that you're passing through different stages of spiritual development, which is interesting to me. And the frames are often painted uh, according to the composition. They complete the work, in other words. So I was really trained as a painter and uh, I, I think really everything I do comes from painting. Even the exhibition design in which uh, we hire a decorative painter to use a particular technique, all of that comes out of my thinking about painting and the possibilities for painting.